Yo, what's good, guys? Even more SBL coming at you. I don't know what's going on today. There's so many battles. Wow. I wasn't able to catch this from the start. I just went away to get some food. And they're already at turn 29. It's a Kratos Mana versus P2. Uh, kind of similar scenarios in the other Sun Moon OU game I recorded. And it's, um. Coil Zygarde, and the land is already toxic. Yeah, it's toxic again. Okay. It said it's uh, like becoming popular. P2's team looks like a lot like that other team that Destiny Device had. Also, it's uh, like the, the Steel types and the uh, Feeny. Well, Kratos Mana's team is looking like a bit. Like. It looks, it's looking weird, honestly. Because this is like fat balance, right? But then there's a gang and a torpedo kind of out of. <laughs> like this. I don't really know what this team is. This is a bit confusing to me. <laughs> like just how it looks on paper. It's Zemo Landris. Continental Crush. Wow. Did he predict that? Wait, why did he Continental Crush his eye guard? He probably predicted the Gara or Fini or something. I'm really not in this game because I just. I checked way too late. I guess we could rewatch from first from from turn one to, to see really fast what happened. Like just go over it really fast. Mew gets up rocks. Gets nature ma nature's madness by a roosts. Keeps spamming roost. Keeps getting nature's madness. Okay, okay. Finally gets taunted. Uh, goes for psychic and P2 defox the rocks away. So nothing really happening here. So gets leftovers. Okay, Mew just weakening it with psychic. I just meant a psychic, okay, okay. Uh, Tom goes off, me roost again. Uh, Fini taunts again, Fini gets gathering leftovers. Uh, P2 had enough, goes to Zyra, takes the psychic, eats it up. Zyra is faster than Mew, interesting. Probably going for sub here or for toxic. Nah, not for sub. Yeah, toxic wouldn't make any sense because he would toxic himself. And yeah, now he toxics the land, it was just. What we saw earlier that the land was uh, poisoned. But yeah, this is way better, right, if I go over this really fast, so you guys can see what happened. This P2 goes into... Oh, goes into Landers, on the opposing Landers. Um, probably Scarf Lander using out of Mew. Back in the Fini, do a default the rocks away. Uh, let me skip turns. Let me psychics. Fini Nature's Madness is... Uh, Fini taunts, Fini default, Gang comes out, Gengar doubles, predicting Pharaoh or Zygarde. Wait man, someone PM me and I got interrupted. Oh, what, what's, what's going on? Mew gets rocks back. Okay, probably... Probably defogging again. Mew gets rocks up, he taunts. Psychic damage. Fini gets back, lefty, Fini defogs. Out in the Pharaoh on the Psychic. Psychic Gang Rocks are getting exchanged. Lee's Seed is up. As Mew's going for worse, P2 gets in the Fini, which is pretty nice for him because he gets like uh, Lee's Seed leftovers and he can get burned. So yeah, bring Zygarde out. Zygarde out speed through him so he can sub up here. As a uh, Kratos one goes Harland to get out the Intimidate, but he will get chipped away by the poison. And just Earthquakes to break the sub as P2 coils and. Okay, what happened? The chat is going well. Uh, P2 said, oof, what happened? Earthquake again, Thousand Arrows, Land was almost dead. Yeah, I think this is the turn where I joined turn 30. Z moved to Pharaoh. Land like the poison, and Pharaoh came out. Pharaoh on Pharaoh, Pharaoh getting up spikes. P2 coiling, gerable. Pharaoh not going for lead sheet. Oh, and P2 gets crit. That's why he said, oof, he got crit. Okay, so now we are. We watched every turn, we are now back in it. As Kratos Mana is. Uh, <laughs> in a good position now, as ABR says, why are both dudes six out by Pharaoh? Did he mean uh, 
Faramosa or did he mean Ferrothorn? I probably meant Ferrothorn, I don't know. I have no idea, I'm so tired to like realize anything. Mm. What does P2 like? What does P2 even have to break Ferrothorn? Yeah, the ABR is actually right. He doesn't have anything to to beat this. What the fuck? I just realized, yeah. Like, what can he even go into? Like, he can go in his own Ferrothorn and they will then spam, <laughs> like, moves and get leftovers and waste PP. That would be boring. He goes into Feeny, which is. Maybe he has uh, knows that it doesn't have power up, or he assumes. And he wants to get a default off, but I'm not really sure. Maybe he's HP fire because he's weak to Feral, but I don't think that, that he has space for HP fire. He probably needs a Moonblast on his set because threats like TD Dragon Knight, uh, Z move, like Supersonic Sky Strike Dragon Knight, Salamence are big threats. So I assume he's uh, probably Moonblast on his Fini. Hmm. Lord, this is actually funny. <laughs> Mazar in the chat. You guys are not playing, so who cares if you don't get that play? Okay, I, I, I misunderstood him. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> We're not playing, so we can't have an opinion word. <laughs> no one's talking shit. Uh, yeah, like, Curtis Man is thinking like pretty hard now. Like, was it worth it? I guess P2 didn't have anything for this Pharaoh. Was it worth it? Like, you're losing your Fiend here in the process. Just, nah, you don't even get damage on the Pharaoh because Lichi then left these and protect. He just gets healed. The play didn't really get any, like, P2 didn't gain anything from doing that. Like... No, Fini's just dead and Pharaoh can just get Hazards back up, cause... I'm guessing Magiana must have a uh, Aura Sphere HP Fire, but still... That doesn't even kill Pharaoh. Also, Curtis Mana doesn't have to stay in, but why didn't he go to Magiana before? I didn't wanna take Hazards, I guess. But now his defog is gone and you can get up rocks back and this can get up spikes. Yeah, it actually doesn't have power, okay. Even if it's HP fire land or it doesn't even do much. There's like 40 to fire maybe. Oh, maybe our Phidium Giana go. Nah, if he was like, if he had something about this, he would bring it out faster, but he's thinking really long. Yeah, he has to be actually fair, that's what the people are saying in this chat. Hmm. Like, what was it? How healthy was the Zyga when he got crit? I actually want to find out. Was that 28 percent? So P2 could have gotten uh, rid of the Feral with the Zygarde, or at least yeah, we need a lot. Like this Feral probably would have been would have been beaten by the Zygarde, or like at least super super weakened. And like P2 could like maybe have a shot at this game with this Feral. I mean, he has his own Feral. Thomas actually like he made a team building video and he went he went like knockoff. 
Lock off on his Pharaoh to beat opposing Pharaoh because if you get rid of the lefties, that's actually a pretty nice idea, right? I mean, I saw other people run that before, but I just recently watched that and I found, found that pretty interesting. Uh, so yeah, Lando just spams off because B2 cannot be overpredict. Has to attack the Pharaoh and Chris Man just goes with Rolling. Gets a free vault, I think that was Scarf Lando, he was locked in. Well, Critters Miner just knew there was no way P2 was staying in anyways. Um, you can just get rocks back um, or fire off a will -O wisp Yeah, I mean, you can just go for will -O wisp I don't see it. Yeah, no will -O wisp agent. With Fini being dead, there's no like psychic terrain anymore. I guess if he's a uh, sub DD Gyarados, this can still win the game. Uh, yeah, okay, exchange rocks. Sub DD Gyarados might have a shot. If he, like if he runs Jolly and if he outspeeds the new. He would, uh, you would need uh, to beat Nerodon a bit first, or you would have to uh, have Alfquid. Yeah, would this be Scarf Gengar? He goes, okay, he goes for Wisp with the Felf, so what about Luchi? Mm. Yeah, like Gareth, the only way P2 can win this. Or uh, maybe with... Again, I can do some work. Mayo ABR set. <laughs> it seems that Zygarde Fini can only win in my hands and it's an auto loss otherwise. Who's taking this so long here to make his play? Like I kind of struggle to analyze this here. And now we see the Pharaoh on Pharaoh action. Never mind, never mind. There's the Gyarados. And if he's if he's the substitute substitute set I mentioned. He has a slight chance to win, but mm. Kratos man, I might just go hard road him here. Predicting a substitute. Not trying to risk anything, maybe. Nah, nah, nah. Rotom doesn't even like. Oh, never mind. He goes for that. Wow, there's a lead sheet miss. I guess there's some justice for the crit earlier. So if he if he didn't go for substitute, he probably doesn't have it. Probably did he just three attacks? He just mega evolves. What is he going for? Crunch of crunch. Yeah, that's a three kill. Actually, nah, with lefties it's not a 2 kill, but he gets a defense drop. Get a defense drop. Ah, oh, the Pharaoh's on as protect. That's kind of a 50-50 turn. Nah, I think you just crunch again if you're P2. I don't think Clarus Mana can afford to... Uh, can afford to protect on a potential like if the Gara did this again it just beats the rest of his team so he has to at least get Jarabol damage like if, he, if the Gara did this again Jarabol will do more damage right and you can also then protect next turn and get more lefties and more like Gareth will lose more health from Leech Sheet. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, yeah, Camtasia just finished rendering another SPL video. I'm both recording these so and. Yeah, here we are with. Uh... Well, I just. Yeah, Eternal vs. Nido. Nido. <laughs> so, yeah, the Camtasia just opened that up. Like, when it's finished rendering, it always opens up. 
<laughs> That's funny. My own video in my video, double recording. Man, I, I didn't even get time to eat, like, can't concentrate anymore, like, just battle after battle. Why are you thinking so long? I don't... I don't think you can afford to protect... Protect is just too obvious, in my opinion. But I, I don't really like this game that much, because... Why are both teams so weak to Pharaoh's so on? Like, okay, at least Kratos Menace team at least has, like, the double Will Wisp action here. So uh, he at least has, like, something for that. To weaken that somehow. He dd <sighs> Yeah, didn't I say he would dd? That's why I said he should crunch, right? I think I said that. Yeah, that's what I meant, because, yeah, that's exactly, that's exactly what I meant. Now it just dies to Iron Bobs or Lichia or whatever, yeah. That is wild. Um, yeah, I guess we too had to hex to win with Gera. <laughs> I guess I was Spike. A lot of Mazari said, why did he sack Pharaoh? Because Pharaoh was like the rest, I guess. But... Doesn't you also wall the rest? Is it Z-Move land or did it already use the Z-Move? No, I don't think we saw Z-Move yet. I, I think it was Garth land, right? So is it Z-Move Magirna? So this is, yeah, this is Team Raiders versus Tigers. Okay, I don't know who's on, on, on which team. Didn't even have time to look that up, man. Can't just throw battle after battle. Okay, Magina comes out. Flash can't demute it, that's absolutely nothing. Even Florican won't kill as well. That did fucking five. Yeah, it's, it's probably Twinkle Tackle Magina. I guess Twinkle Tackle. Now, Magina does not speed this, right? So maybe we can just roost. P2 just loses, like, this game is over. I, I didn't like this game that much. Like, what part is this team? Double water? Double. Double steel, double ground, interesting. I guess this is for like Pharaohs for Coco. I'm trying to understand his team. Yeah, it's drink wait it's faster, so the Mew's dead. Okay. So maybe he has a chance now. <laughs> I said the game was over. I, I didn't think it would be faster than the Mew. Was he timid or is the Mew just really like was this Mew not running any speed or something? Yeah, exactly, this chat is saying too, why is the Mew that slow? Oh. Z moves are a gift from God. Like, now again, I guess he's protect boost. Um, um, can Gengar kill Gengar into Shapir kill it? Like sh Shadow Ball into Waterfall. Maybe if he's adamant Shapir, that could kill. Because uh, Shabito first, okay. Waterfall does a nice 35. Really? Only a 35? Is 
that like is that um, HP investment magia no not in yeah I'm pretty sure that's like max max speed magia no fiat better mu Wow. I I thought Critters of Mana won this game. <laughs> I I just, I just didn't think that the Magiana would outspeed the Mew. I didn't see that coming. I saw the Mew just roost off, then the Z move doesn't kill and the Mew roost again. And Florican also doesn't kill, so Magiana would drop a special attack and couldn't beat the Mew. And the Mew just grows everything and wins. But since Magiana was first faster that changed everything. I guess he's going for the full inch. Yeah, I don't know why he has said it's the 35. Magina gets off the shift gear and wait, 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 wait. The scarf ganger still outspeed. speed. Wait. This doesn't outspeed scarf ganger. He only has focus blast and he misses. I mean, I don't care if Kratos Mana had Scarf Ganger and if that outspeed. Uh, I wanted to see, like, <laughs> the game be really, really close. <laughs> Focus Blast. Oh, well, I never saw a Focus Blast on Magirna. Uh, I always, like, when I see Focus Blast and when I see Aurosphere, I always click Aurosphere. Like, in a team build, I always choose Aurosphere. I don't, I'm not trying to miss out here. Roto misses a pump, but at this point, this is like over. Pharaoh's burnt. I think we go with Chapito here. Yeah. Let's see. Hey, how else is the lander? Okay, the lander. Does the land all the way? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, there's a Roto. Never mind, never mind. If there was no Roto, the lander could actually win. So yeah, he has to like go for, he has to like crit the Rotom. Like see he lifts the hit from a Gengar. Okay, the Stone Age doesn't even kill Gengar, I didn't know, I thought it would kill. Yeah, he would have had to crit everything and dodge and stuff. Yeah, I didn't actually think Gengar would live a Stone Age. Kratos made a beat P2 in a really interesting weird game. I guess at the end it got a bit interesting. The beginning was weird. Let me pause it real quick. So yeah, this is uh, Team Raiders, Kratos Mana 1 for the Raiders. So this is P2. And what, what, did, what did I record earlier? Oh yeah, Nido 1 vs Eternal. So it's 2 2 between Raiders and Maximus Chase. That's pretty interesting, pretty close. I uh, will see you guys next time with more XP election. I really need to get some sleep, holy crap, crap, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Thank you guys uh, for the support, uh, smash that like button if you want to see more SPL content, and I am signing out, peace.